They make a nest by uh, the bridge. And then Every if you want to pass over the bridge. Yeah. You can't. You can't. Or you, we have a video of Dario. I ran. <laughs> I ran to pass. And it changed. We have a we have a video of Dario being chased. Like they take flight and chase him. Yeah, they have a video of me last night. Like that's that. amazing. Oh, that's good. Funny. I'd like to see it. I, I watched like it. It was too. funny. Um, and that's a common theme here on the Hospitality Authority podcast. Yeah. Welcome to the Hospitality Authority podcast. Yeah, we were running. We have cold opens. We have all cold I opens. I know. So <laughs> there's... It's so great. So it's just it's way more authentic that way. Oh, it is. It's really yeah. comfortable having a conversation. Because we just talk. I we love talk. it. Okay, yeah. yeah. And uh, we're here with a couple of Nebraska State of officers, and I am terrible with names, so I know Isabel. And Haley. And this is Haley. Yes. Okay, Haley, how do you spell your name? Just because there's lots of Haley's out there. H-A-I-L-E-Y. See, I'd have never... In a million that years. is all right. Most of the Haley's are H A L I E. Yeah, in this you... generation. Or in the last generation. The cool the... Haley's are H A I L I E. I have no words for you, Wait, Really? No. How would you Haley? I would Haley the way she Haley because really? that's how my cousin's name is spelled. Okay. I love it. So. Cool. I love, and I love this Haley. I, I, I love this Haley. And Isabel, you go by... Um, Isa. Isa. Isa or Isabel. Isa or no. Isabel. Yeah, Isa or Isabel. No, Isa. I think no, I Isa. Isa. she's Isa. And she's like, because she's, she is a rock star. Aww. Aww. Do you see that? Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> this is the first Hospitality Authority podcast where I have been outnumbered. Um, and you're enjoying females it. to male. <laughs> so it's sure. going to be a unique setting. Normally, the hospitality authority has our MC Kurt Wissenberg. He does all the opens and he kind of mm -hmm. controls the program. We usually have Michaela, our event coordinator, with us. Michaela is doing a tour for a graduation. Mm -hmm. We have Dario, who's our facilities manager. He is draining the pool for our semi annual cleaning. Which and is really fun to watch because he takes a little cup, he dips in the pool, and takes the drain, takes, pours it out, out, and he does yeah, that about 300,000 times. Well, at least 300,000 times because there's 100,000 <laughs> gallons of water in there. Don't, don't say this, Haley. We'll believe you. <laughs> Are you the one that falls for stuff? There's one in every crowd. It's okay. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> and Dario, he actually this time picked blue solo cups. He's been working at yeah. it for days. <laughs> yeah, he, he likes um, to experiment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are here at the Leadership Center, and you're here fairly often. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what are you doing now? Without giving anything away, what are you doing? Now? What are you doing right now here? Well, we have tape on the gym floor in the shape of a stage. If that gives you any hints. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're here at TLC um, this weekend um, prepping for state convention, which is 11 days away. Can so. you believe it's 11 days away? <laughs> I remember when you walked in this building as little state officers, like, freaking out about remembering things. Wide eyes. And that was right. my first time at Colt. Oh, wow. I was never at Colt in high school, so I came in as this little state officer to TLC for the first time. And Get she out. sillyly left her phone with the with the office. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did when I was yeah. Yeah. <laughs> didn't I? We made sure she didn't the, forget us. The staff here in the state FFA officers get along so well that shenanigans tend to ensue. Shenanigans? I feel yeah. like I feel it's... like there definitely is some shenanigans, like the, your staff, the past state officers, the interns. But uh -huh. I think that's where the fun comes in. Though. I I thoroughly enjoyed I mean, the not, fun. Not, not having everyone shoes to go time. to a dance where everyone's wearing cowboy boots is it's thrilling. <laughs> I had shoes, just See, saying. No, I don't classify that as hijinks <laughs> and not shenanigans, but I'm I sure feel were. like what we do is create moments that matter. Oh, oh we yeah. Do. Mm. We do, and... We have such a special bond with the state officers that we want to ensure them that they're coming home whenever they're here. Mm -hmm. And homes are filled with hijinks and shenanigans. Yeah, they are. <laughs> but they're it. also filled with hugs and a drawer full of candy. Oh, so I've yes. never gotten any candy. What about that? I was here on Fat Tuesday and I didn't even get any of the... Push, punchkis. The punchkis. How, how did that even happen? I don't know, but I felt you were all in sugar coma, so maybe it was <laughs> a good thing. <laughs> 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 so, you know, that's really funny. So we got pooch keys, and we got, like, I think we got 16 of them. 
four or five mm-hmm. boxes of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we all ate several that day. And then we finished them off the next day. Oh my gosh. It, they shouldn't have lasted. I, they I they only think. lasted out of politeness because I wanted to eat another three of them <laughs> that first day. <laughs> if, if they had had the cherry ones, or actually if they had had the vanilla custard ones, I don't know that they would have made them home. Because Michaela, Michaela well, yeah. and I were very restrained. You had to drive we to very, Hastings to get them. We were very restrained. We drove to Hastings and got them. And we did not touch them until they got back in the building. You don't even know. You can wow. smell them. <laughs> that's like going to a donut shop and not buying. That's like going to Eileen's Cookies and just looking at cookies and not buying them. Oh, like, gosh. who even does that? Oh, Eileen's. Well, I mean, that was. I know, right? We also drove by Eileen's. That day. We were so restrained. I don't, okay, that's not, we went out for a really nice dinner that day, because mm. we had a long day, but no, it was insane, though, like, you could just smell them, and we had eaten a big lunch, like, okay, this will help us, we're like, oh, you know, they won't know that we bought five boxes, Ex- except, <laughs> we wouldn't have known, yeah, but we're honest people, you say, oh, well, all they had was three, well, that was a great week to be here at TLC because we had um, RA, so our retiring address, speech writing, oh, yeah. and yeah. then I had chapter visits in the area, so I, did too. I got That's to right. stay. That's right. We got to stay an extra. I got to. You got to stay an extra night, and then I got to stay an like extra a week. I got to stay a whole week, <laughs> and it was really nice to have a home yeah. base and to be able to come back here and work on my state convention stuff, work on my homework, and really have a place to hang out and you had some state officer inter- or state officer candidate interviews, interviews yeah that uh, week to be fair, and- we don't interview the state officers but there was a chapter that called us and said we have a couple officer candidates and we need to pick one yeah we did the runoff yeah we did the runoff and it was awesome i it's such a treat that's something we get to do here every once in a while we also do officer interviews like there have been times where chapters have just brought down all their officer candidates and we put together a panel and we've helped select their teams yeah uh, it's I, anytime we get to be involved in an officer interview, outside of state officer, we would decline any time to be a non-com. Yeah, yeah. We would. Uh, it would be a hard, like, I think there's, every single one of us would love to be there, but I think the relationship we have with students and officers, um, I, I think it's... There'd be a touch of a conflict of interest It would be like a yeah. touch or a <laughs> giant, giant. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you see, you see... A thousand chapter officers every spring. And yeah, just, just to, yeah. it's a fun mm-hmm. two weeks here for the yeah. state officers. I know, and... I'm so jealous of everyone in high school that I got to go and I didn't. <laughs> we would have would have let you come if I'd have known about it. Okay, Haley, if you come back and see us at any time, Haley, you is know that a question? Haley, you, no, that's Haley, a that's a, a Did you know offer. that we have internships? What? No. We yeah. Do. No. And you get to live on property and work with our leadership program and planning our events. Hello. And working with Colt. The application is online. If you go to www.tlcaurora.org and hit the employment tab, there's a description. You work for Michaela. She's the intern manager. We can really? hire up to six a year. She's actually the nicest person on staff. She she is. I think. I think. If she's, she's not, I don't know who is. Maybe Jane. Maybe Jane. Jane's nice. Yeah, I'm not particularly Jane's pretty nice. nice. <laughs> I don't. I feel like everyone here is pretty nice though, and willing to help us yeah. with whatever we need. Or yeah, like we say we that need we something. need like boom, it's there. Yeah, the food. Oh the my food. goodness. Oh, what's food. your favorite meal? Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't have a favorite because they're all so good. <laughs> What did we like? Oh, no, so when yesterday. we were at Colt, when we were at Colt, uh, we I did not have the opportunity to eat a lot of food. Unfortunately, no, because you were sick. I was sick. Oh, but we got oh, you cranberry juice. I got yes, you got me cranberry <laughs> juice, and you took care, like made sure that my room was nice and quiet. And well, no. So yesterday was Fish Friday, and we're sitting there, and Lydia Brock and I being the responsible Catholics that we try to be, um, <laughs> did not have meat. And your husband... Um, oh, our kitchen manager, John? Yeah, yes. he has to be my husband, yes. Yeah, he, he came by, and he's like, you have no meat on your plate. And we're like, it's Fish Friday. Well, why didn't you tell us? And he felt so bad. So what does he do? He goes and fries us up some shrimp, and I'm like, yes. 
And they were amazing, right? Oh, yeah. It was great shrimp. I thought it was a compliment to the mashed potatoes and beans. I really I really liked the pulled pork that you all had. Oh, that we were the guinea pigs. Yeah, did you do that? That, that, was, was, that we, was really good. Even though we were guinea it. pigs. Yeah, we, did. we oh. smoked it for 14 hours. Um, so John actually went over to the Hampton FFA and helped Mr. Miller and his students smoke up like four or 500 pounds of pork for uh, a booth that they were doing for the Home and Garden Show here in Hamilton <laughs> County. And Joel was looking for an expert, and we just threw John out. He, he smokes things. Like, he smokes things on our tiny smoker. But he's like, sure, let's do it. And he had so much fun. He's like, we're doing this for TLC. And he came back, and he ordered a box of pork. And, uh, yeah, he, we, I couldn't eat it because I can't eat red meat. But I enjoyed the smell of it immensely. The whole kitchen <laughs> smelled Delicious. amazing. Yeah. Since which, and I was wondering, too, I mean, you have that oil diffuser in the office. Yeah. Is there a pork smoke? You know, oil I, I that don't I can put know if there's a pork smoke, but what I will do is I could check. I, I, I don't know. You know, I'm afraid it would be like bacon flavored candles, where you think it's gonna smell like bacon. Well, that'd be an alternative. And be bacon no, grease. We just no, put bacon they grease don't. <laughs> You're not putting bacon grease in my diffuser. Oh. Mm, no. You heard it here, people. The tangerines are nice. The tangerines are nice. But bacon grease would be. I mean. Go to the kitchen. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I suppose. My computer's in the office, though. You, yeah, and yours doesn't move. So, when you think back on all your time, and you've got this weekend, you'll be wrapping up tonight, and then you're back one more time before... Are you back one more time? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, I'm going to be here for Colt 1, hanging out. Me too. Okay, so Hopefully. No, they won't be back. The, this oh is my the last gosh, time this be is here. our last this time. This is our last time. Here I know, officers. I'm going to be sad. I'm already tearing up. <sighs> I... I, Miley's gonna cry. Where did this year go? I don't know. It so, kind of breaks my heart. But it was amazing, right? Oh I mean, my god! So gosh. amazing. So <laughs> amazing. So when you think back to your times through the whole year, is there any moments where you're like, "Whoa, this was magic!" Like that you just are gonna hang on to forever? Yes. Like, yes. Which one are you yes. thinking? So we don't say the same one. I'm thinking, cult reflections. Um, I really bonded with my cult room, um, having the fireplace is just homey, being able to look out the window. I mean, at night when I was working in there, sometimes, I think it was like cult two, I was working the night before and these students come in and they jump at the window and I freaked out. I'm like, (gasps) and later I found out they were from Kimball and these students, Oh, are just amazing. Oh, bonfire. Yeah. They are awesome. They're, They're amazing. Yeah. Kimball, I went to their chapter visit this last week, and they were so great. But, but yes, cult reflections, definitely. Mm. That was where I really bonded with the students, and not just the students, but the room. And now I just walk in that room, and I get the chills. Lakeside 4 is Haley's room. Lakeside 4, fireplace. Never forget it. Right, right at the I end. Was I'll too. never forget that. Like, You'll always have the fireplace. <laughs> I think that it would probably be after we finished up with Colt One and it's our first time facilitating a conference. You know, we had a lot of students here and it's kind of a <laughs> whirlwind and we sat down in the gym with the national officers and we all we were sitting on the stage and we all prayed and we all talked and it was like, okay, like, how are we going to do better this next, how are we going to prove for Colt 2, 3, and 4? And it was just a super powerful moment and I think that uh, this facility is home because of all of the powerful moments we've had here and the team bonding and yeah. the connections that we've made with members and you know, the shenanigans and fun things that we've had and, you know. <laughs> I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I have to say, I I remember that night because we checked in with you before we went home. Mm-hmm. And it was really neat to walk in and they were just sitting there just chatting. And the national officers, mind you, they've been through a year of state officers. Uh, and then Trevor, Trey, had Trey had it. Oh, Trey had it. He was new. Right. He, he, was he was new. never that's state right. officer. He was and then, and then right the national they're here mentoring these incredible students. I remember when you guys walked in, <clears throat> and Michaela and Dario, and I just kind of got to know you, and, and then Jane. Um, and then you guys would pop in here and there. 
Um, I just remember we were back in the office going, it's, it's funny because your students and your state officers and every year state officers walk in our building, we're completely starstruck. This like famous, like it, it's comparable to like the Rolling Stones walking in the building. With this <laughs> They're the rock stars. Of the they people are. Yes. Here. But yes. what we look forward to is the opportunity to be, to, to connect with you. Like, mm -hmm. and what we love about it is like Dario sits there, maybe not Dario, people sit there and think about how is it we're going to welcome you to your, your home for the year? And then how are we going to make sure you know it's home? And then how are we going to make, where's the new place the shoes are going? So <laughs> this past week we had UNL Extension 7 Habits workshop here. And they were here until the day before you guys got here. And Paige was in there and she's a past state officer. Oh, and yeah. we said, I was like, Paige, how are you? She's like, great. And I'm like, well, I don't know if you told your roommate, but Dario now runs facilities. And she's like, should I check the freezer for my shoes? <laughs> 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 Apparently, shoes ended up in the freezer when she was here. Oh. I can neither confirm nor deny that. Hey, that'll probably take the stink out of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. Or freeze it, <laughs> freeze it in stronger. No. So... It's almost the end for you. Yeah, I know. Has this, like, what, what, what's next? Well, you can go first because you're more. <laughs> well, sure. I was, I was planning most of the year to do the FFA internship and then I would be here for Colt for the two weeks or whatever and be here for all the state officer trainings. But, um, I felt a call, and so I have taken a position as a camp counselor at a church camp um, north of Fremont, Nebraska. So I will be being a camp counselor and facilitating youth all summer. So oh, I'm she's really going to say moments that matter in a way that's really special. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I wonder if that might not be a unique way to really top off what you just did. Yeah. Right? And yeah. To, to build on that. Mm -hmm. That's really neat. Are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. I start May 21st. So right wow, after. So like right after school, like the day school ends. <laughs> well, it'll be, well, I get done with school like the 5th. Okay, but then I'll come to like the first cult and then I'll head you're going to love that. You're going to love that. Yeah, I, yeah, I think you're going to thrive. Mm -hmm. How about yeah. you, Miss Um, Well, I used my connections through FFA. Um, and uh, Glenn Bomber, we got the chance to meet with from Union Bank and Trust. And uh, with our through our B&I's business and industry visits, um, we got to do that. Um, but... You're like going back and forth past the microphone. So just yeah, Isabel well, just had to like. That's okay. That's Haley's chair. That's practicing yeah. for convention because otherwise Haley's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> I Why know. are we here? <laughs> but yes, yeah, so through our business and industry visits, um, I used that, and I emailed Glenn and told him I was really interested in you making trust. Uh, I have some family that works there. My brother worked there uh, through his college experience and then my cousin Lindsay also works there and manages a few locations so um I really banking. yeah I really bonded well with Union Bank and Trust and I'm excited I'm having a meeting with them this week to discuss an internship so we'll see if that's what this summer or next summer but hopefully this summer <clears throat> if it doesn't happen this summer I'm, I'd just like to mention to the whole world, we hire interns. You'd like, you like to mention that again? You know what? I could go see the Epp family all the time if I was here, too. You could. You could. A oh. lot of benefits. There's see. huge benefits on top of the fact that there will be an Epp. And there's a Runza. Oh, there's a Runza down the street. There's a Runza. Kurt's here. The Baders are here. Dario's here. Michaela's here. James oh, here. yeah. Yeah. Uh, they have a get, pool. They have to, a pool. You get to eat the A food. workout room. You get to eat the food. Because so oh, yeah. when you're an intern here, we feed you, we house you, and we pay you. And your ranch is homemade and it tastes like Runza Ranch. So That's true. That is the God. second time I've heard that in about the last 12 hours. If so, you uh, love Runza Ranch, come to TLC because it's very similar. So like, you know, Jade, you won't be able to tell. Jade makes our ranch. Uh, there's a young lady on our staff who's been on our staff for, I think, three or four years now. 
she took over making a ranch like two years ago and unless unless it's dire emergency no one makes a ranch but jade yeah she's the specialist she has a way of whipping it and it's completely made by hand that's so beautiful so, oh yeah so we're a big ranch we're, we're actually team. thinking yeah, about we, we used to make our dorothy lynch and i think we're going to go back to that too so yeah. You, but you shouldn't because Dorothy Lynch, Columbus, Nebraska. You know, uh, there's. See, we're allowed to. The reason we would go to it is. Uh, there's a good reason. There's some really good reasons. Oh, okay. Uh, there's some food allergies oh. where people can't have certain things like dyes or yeah. oils and such. Well, when you make it, you can control that. Oh, you are that's a good super reason. well at tending to people's needs, Lydia. Um, what gluten what intolerant? Them? Yeah, gluten, gluten intolerant. And they dairy all, free. You and... always make sure she always has a meal. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. With almond we milk. do <laughs> every, every time. I mean, we yeah. do this for every guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, we love cooking for all of you, so <laughs> um, we're gonna miss you. Yeah, we'll but you know, you're time. always welcome back. Oh yeah. And and internships opportunities are open for the whole time you're in college, and then the year after. So. Just saying mm -hmm. that there's opportunity. Yeah. Uh, there's there's opportunity. I don't know what we'd do with Michaela and Haley. I think that would be amazing. Be live. Yeah. It would. <laughs> I have to go find other things to do throughout the day sometimes to get out of the office. So Kurt is making the intern desk this year. He's yeah. making it. Oh. The oh. intern what? We're making. So we're we redesigned our office, mm -hmm. and so we're Kurt and Michaela and I work in one space at a shared table. And we were like, well, we want the interns in the office. We moved the kitchen manager to the office. So the whole core team is in the office. Oh, that's great. So he is going to build a Murphy-style desk in the <laughs> office that pops up and down for our interns. Ooh. Yeah. And then our consultation area out in the, off out in the lobby, we put up internet and, and uh, we put the computers there. And we are actually having a phone line that's going to be brought in so that if we have an intern station there, they have access to the phone and internet and such. Oh, so cool. Yep. We're way excited about that. Um, and yeah, actually, speaking of interns, John and Michaela are interviewing a kitchen intern this in like. Yeah, really, like, really, really soon. Yeah. And they are, so we hire interns in the general area, which gets to work with everything. So they. They work with meeting our events. Learn they learn everything about a business because I really think that no matter where you're going to go with your profession, if you can learn from the bottom up and get to to really yeah. see how a business operates, you go into other businesses better informed. So like here, you get to learn about how, what it takes to plan an event, customer service, how to properly answer a phone, how to properly email. You get to work with fundraising. You get to work in the kitchen. You work in how, the facilities area, which is housekeeping and setting up meetings and such and mowing lawn or whatever. But you also get to work with our D4LC conference, which is D Disciplines for Leadership Communities Explore. And that's a conference that's for six or less kids. We have six sessions of it, but we focus on what it means to be a member of a community. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty cool. It's designed in-house. We were asked by a school district three or four years ago to do it. We... Yeah. And so our interns will they get, will get an opportunity yeah, they get to do. for facilitation and And there's and s'mores. Teaching. Good. And there are s'mores. There's s'mores. Good. Um, our interns get to work with, oh, yeah, speaking of cult, we do a welcome bonfire before every cult. And the interns get to work with that. Uh, they get to work with the weddings. And the fundraiser, we're celebrating 50 years this year. Oh. The Leadership Center has been here for 50 oh. years. Oh, my yes. heart. Sweet. That's beautiful. And our and so we've got our fundraisers, we've got our evening stroll, which we're so excited about. Michaela came up with this brilliant idea. So we were founded in nineteen sixty eight. And our summer fundraiser is gonna be nineteen sixty eight. We're traveling back to nineteen sixty eight. So oh nice. Yes. And food. We've been trying candies that we're gonna put in the centerpieces. We have some in the office. You have to come get some. I should have brought them in so we could have watched you do that on film. <laughs> uh, anyway, no, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> And uh, so they get to work with all of that. They also get to design their own special project. Ah, cool. Love it. Yeah, and then if it works out, we have been known to offer extensions, and we actually rent a desk at the nonprofit hub in Lincoln because most of our interns have been from Lincoln, so they can if they work for us for the fall. They have a place on Lincoln to work. Oh, nice. Yeah. And so they only come back on weekends here and there. But it's been really neat, and we love it. We love it. I, I love the fact that this place was founded for education. And when you look back at all the things that we love over the 50 years, Colt being 
the reason we're here in so many ways. Mm -hmm. um, and then being able to add things like conferences and education, you know, internships and such, I think just lives the mission and the vision of the original yeah. guys who founded the place. So yeah, do you just know that three agricultural education teachers mortgaged their homes to buy the original 27 acres that started the Leadership Center? Wow, no, I didn't yeah. know. On a whim. They didn't have permission from anybody they should Including their wives? Yeah. Oh, Lord. And they did it. And, and then they basically went to the state ag teachers conference and said, listen, we bought need, this property. We bought this property we and we need to do this. And they named it, they, we originally, well, the board was always the Nebraska Vocational Agricultural Foundation, yeah. but the camp originally was the Nebraska Youth Leadership Development, Development. Center. Yeah. Their camp. Yeah, it might have been. And then it might have changed the center. And then in 1987, we changed it to the Leadership Center. Um, mm -hmm. So these are a part of our history. The yeah. only client or guest that we've had every year since we started it was the FFA. Nebraska FFA. We love you too. <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap us up. Yeah. And, and part of my job is to summarize what Miley says. As far as if you're looking for an internship, we will allow you to succeed. We will also give you an opportunity to fail, which I'm a big guy on failure, and mm -hmm. internships are about learning. So, uh, you know, you have both. Of, it's a safe place to fail, and it's a great place to succeed. Um, thank you to the Nebraska FFA for allowing being, us to yeah allowing us to continue this relationship into the next 50 years, and I, I really mean that. Um, this has been the Hospitality Authority podcast. We are the Leadership Center. We create moments that matter. Thank you.